This could be exactly what you need for an epic home cinema system. This is the Xtumi Aura. We're going to take a look at the picture, the amazing sound quality and all of the awesome features of this projector. This is a UST or ultra short throw projector. Basically this means the projector shines a huge and bright image despite only being inches away from the screen. This very clever bit of technology gives us some advantages over traditional projectors. Firstly, having a projector on the other side of the room means there's a much greater chance of obstruction. Anything that gets in the way will block the screen and therefore anger everyone in the room. What? I need a poo! Having the projector by the screen means that isn't an issue. And the other major benefit is that normally most people set up the home cinema and all the accessories for such underneath where the screen would be. Whether you have a cable box, soundbar or consoles. When you're installing a traditional projector, you have to factor wiring all of these different things in. And that can be a huge pain in the ass. You cut me deep, Shrek. You cut me real deep just now. With this, you can just stick it on your TV unit and then it's done, you just wire it in from there. So the projector itself is a beautiful item. It doesn't look garish or out of place sitting on a unit. And on the front, you have a Harman Kardon sound system, so it's basically replacing a sound bar anyway. Now the thing is pretty heavy, but once you put it in place, you shouldn't really be moving it anyway. And it does help because at the bottom, there's some rubberized feet and that should help it from moving out of place. On the back, you have all of your inputs. The power cable plugs in at the bottom. There is no big brick transformer. It's all included in the projector. You have three HDMI 2.0 ports with one of them also having an audio return channel. So if you plan on linking this up with an existing sound system, that could be good for you. You also have two USB 2 ports, optical audio and an ether Ethernet port. On the side here you have the power button and another USB port. Once you have the Aura in place, now you can worry about the screen. The Aura can display straight onto a blank wall, but to enhance your experience, it is recommended that you use a dedicated screen. Now I have a 100 inch floor rising screen from Vividstorm, this video sponsors. They produce all different kinds of projection displays, and this one is the ultimate ALR floor rising screen. You'll notice that it is grey instead of a traditional white, and that is because it is designed to reject ambient light to give a brighter, clearer image. This one has the added benefits of not needing to be mounted on the ceiling and it has an infrared receiver that means you can control it with a remote check the links below to see this screen and other screens from vividstorm i will be doing a review on this screen so if you're interested in that do subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can see when it drops and thank you vividstorm for sponsoring the video back to the aura so the screen is up and the projector is in place let's get this thing set up now depending on how big your screen is should depend on the exact positioning of where you put this extremely recommends this for a screen anywhere between 80 inches and 150 inches. Now you would achieve an 80 inch screen by having the projector 4.3 inches away from where the screen's going to be, but you can also get up to 150 inches by moving it slightly further back. If you have it 17.3 inches, that should do that for you. As I have a 100 inch screen, I only have to keep my projector 8.2 inches away from the display. So when you switch the projector on, it immediately boots up Android TV from Google. This gives you tons of great features, apps and accessibility settings. So it's worth exploring it and having a little play. One of my favourite features is the integration with Google Assistant. It has a button right on the remote for easy access and you can do things like navigate through all of your movies and TV shows or even control things in your smart home. Now speaking of the remote, what a lovely looking remote it is. It's the same one you get with the Xtumi Horizon Pro. It has a metal finish and feels very premium. The button layout is nice and simple to use and there is a shortcut to focusing the projector so you can easily focus it without having to move and all you have to do is press right and left from where you're sat. There are tons of other settings to play with too, things like different picture settings for example. Keystoning is easy enough. You get an 8 point keystone so you can very accurately match it to your screen. So what's the picture like? Well, it's impressive. We have a bulb of 2400 lumens, which is pretty bright, to the level where if you accidentally look at the lens, your retinas will literally catch fire. Ah! 
Well, they won't, but your eyes might stop working for an undisclosed amount of time. What is good is that the projector can detect when something is covering the lens, so it will shut it off after a short delay. So at least it won't have the chance to melt through your head, like the Ark of the Covenant in Indiana Jones. So we have a 4K picture, which is really good, especially paired up with content that supports HDR10. It really gives it that extra fullness of colour. You're left with a very bright image where the colours are very well saturated, considering it's a projector. And it is good enough that it can achieve over 1 billion different colours. In a room with a lot of ambient light, we do still get a fairly clear image. It can look a little bit more washed out, but it's definitely more than watchable, and it's certainly not a bad image at all. One of the standout features of this projector is the fact that it has Harman and Kardon speakers built into the projector itself. And let me tell you, these are great. The projector sports both DTS and Dolby Audio. Inside are two subwoofers and two tweeters that create a very deep and full sound and it works brilliantly in smaller rooms. If you want to take the sound a step further, there is an audio return channel on the back so you can pair this up with an external sound system, soundbar or surround sound. So to give you at home an idea of what this actually sounds like, if you put some headphones on now, I will play music straight from the projector itself. So movies on this thing are amazing. If you are watching anything in HDR, I do recommend you knock the brightness up just a couple of settings and leave it for default for SDR. But just that little tweak will make it mwah. Now what about gaming? I know, I know, gaming can be a bit hit or miss on projectors. And usually, it's a miss. But if you are planning on integrating this into your system, it's important to know is it going to be good enough? And a long story short, I think it is. Now, the input lag is about 45 milliseconds, which is okay. It's definitely on the high end of laser projectors, but ultimately it's not going to be anywhere near as responsive as something like an OLED TV. So for casual games, sports games, driving games, it is going to be very, very good. But if you're going to be playing a first person shooter, games where you're turning quickly and having to respond very quickly, you might just start to notice it then. Now there is a problem with this device, and that is the fact that you cannot watch Netflix. And the reason for that is, is that Netflix doesn't see the Xgenie devices as being compatible with itself. Ultimately that's a load of nonsense, and Netflix actually does look very very good on this projector. Unfortunately you have to have a bit of a workaround to get it. There is a way of doing that through an app called Desktop Manager, but it doesn't work brilliantly, and ultimately the best way of doing it is by plugging in an external device, something like a Fire Stick. So, what's the verdict? Well, this is going to be a great addition for any home cinema. It's a great option as it packs an amazing picture, great sound and functionality all in one device. And if you have a blank wall somewhere, you can get started straight away. Now there's a link in the description so you can have a look in more detail and check out the live prices. And if you're looking at levelling up your projector screen, do check out Vividstorm, I've put a link down for them too. Click this video here to see a review on XGMI's Horizon Pro, another fantastic projector, and do subscribe! Whoop!